Peeping through the woods, the silhouette of a castle, a silhouette easily recognized by wine lovers, that of Chateau Margaux, the wine estate of France's Medoc region. After 200 years of world-class winemaking, change was at hand for this establishment. On avait besoin à la fois de plus de cuves. We needed more fermentation tanks with different capacities that could cope with our different parcels of vines so that we could experiment and make comparisons with aging wines. Some wines would last around 100 years. À nos critères de vieillissement qui doivent parfois durer jusqu'à les vins devant durer parfois jusqu'à 100 ans. This is the work of Norman Foster, a leading British architect. Inside the building, Vinatec storage cellars and stainless steel wine tanks and, of course, a laboratory because the goal wasn't to produce more, but better quality. 40 more tanks means that we can be more selective and produce with more precision. So in 25 years, we've gone from 25 tanks to 100, but we're probably producing less wine than 25 years ago. That means that we can be more selective when it comes to our products. The selection process starts with the harvest. Each plot receives a special treatment, especially the Cabernet Sauvignon and the Margot variety, which will produce some 130,000 bottles. Among them, the Premier Cru of 2015. Harvested by hand, the grapes are carefully arranged and kept in a cool area at a constant temperature. They're then placed inside old wooden tanks to ferment. Here, the old and the new come together. With these pillars reminiscent of the trees in the park, the architecture blends perfectly into its natural surroundings. He respected the old estate, the unique architectural qualities of this area, and when it came to the inside, it was all about quality and technique. Yet you get the feeling that it was always there. American President Thomas Jefferson sang the praises of the estate's wine in the 1780s. Now with 300,000 bottles of first and second Grand Cru Reds produced last year, Chateau Margaux intends to stay at the top.